Elon Musk is once again making headlines with his latest venture, XAI, which has recently introduced Grok2, a new AI language model that's been getting a lot of attention. And there's good reason for that. Beyond its technical capabilities, Grok2 stands out as one of the few AI models that operates with very little censorship. The kinds of images people have been generating with it are proof of just how unrestricted this model is. Before we dive into the technical details, let's take a moment to look at some of these controversial examples. All right, so launched just under two years after the company was founded, Grok2 is grabbing attention not only because of Musk's involvement, but also because it's performing really well in an already crowded and competitive field. It's been tested against some of the top AI models out there, including OpenAI's GPT-4, Google's Gemini, and Anthropic's Claude. And here's the thing, it's not just keeping pace with these models, in some key areas, it's actually outperforming them. One way to measure how these models stack up is by looking at their ELO scores. Originally created for ranking chess players, the ELO system has been adapted for comparing AI models too. Grok2 has been doing really well on the LM Swiss leaderboard, which is a popular platform for these kinds of comparisons. It's currently outperforming GPT-4 in several important benchmarks, including GPQA, which tests graduate-level science knowledge, and math which involves solving pretty tough math problems. For example, on the GPQA benchmark, Grok2 scored 56.0%. To put that in perspective, GPT-4 Turbo scored 48.0%, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet scored 59.6%. Now, these might seem like small differences, but in the world of AI, even a few percentage points can make a big difference in terms of understanding and problem-solving abilities. Grok2 also did well on the MMMLU benchmark, which stands for Massive Multitask Language Understanding, scoring 87.5%. That's just ahead of GPT-4 Turbo's 86.5% and Gemini Pro's 85.9%. In practical terms, Grok2 is designed to be easy to use, flexible, and capable of handling some pretty complex tasks. It's not just about generating text, it can also handle real-time information pulled straight from X, the social media platform that used to be known as Twitter. This makes Grok2 particularly powerful for applications where having up-to-the-minute information is crucial, or where you're dealing with fast-changing real-world situations. Along with Grok2, XAI also rolled out Grok2 Mini. This is a smaller version of the main model, designed to work faster while still delivering accurate results. It's not just a stripped down version, it's optimized for situations where speed is key, making it perfect for scenarios where quick responses are more important than having every last detail. Even though it's smaller, Grok2 Mini still holds its own in the benchmarks. Take the math benchmark, for instance, Grok2 Mini scored 73.0%. That's better than some of the other top models out there, like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which scored 71.1%. This shows that even the light version of Grok2 can outperform much of the competition in tough areas like math and science. Benchmarks are really important in the AI world because they give us a clear idea of how one model compares to another. Grok2 has been put through its paces with a series of tough tests, and the results are pretty impressive. On the Human Evil benchmark, which tests the model's ability to generate correct Python code, Grok2 achieved a pass at one score of 88.4%. That's slightly lower than GPT-4 Turbo's score of 90.2%, but it's still ahead of Claude 3 Opus, which scored 84.9%. This puts Grok2 among the top performers in coding tasks, showing that it's not just about generating text or solving math problems, it's also about handling practical real-world coding challenges. Grok2 also shines in visual tasks. On the Math Vista benchmark, which tests the model's ability to solve math problems using visual reasoning, Grok2 scored 69.0%. That's well above GPT-4 Turbo's 58.1% and even ahead of Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which scored 67.7%. In terms of document-based question answering, Docs VQA, Grok2 scored 93.6%, which is just shy of the top score of 95.2% achieved by Claude 3.5 Sonnet. These benchmarks really highlight Grok2's strengths across a variety of tasks, from text generation and coding to visual reading reasoning and document comprehension. What's particularly impressive is how well Grok2 performs compared to models that have been on the market longer and had more time to refine their capabilities. As impressive as Grok2's technical performance is, its image generation capabilities have stirred up a fair amount of controversy. Unlike most AI platforms that have strict controls over what types of images they'll generate, Grok2 is much more permissive, allowing users to create images that might be seen as offensive or harmful, for instance. 
Users have managed to create images of public figures in compromising or violent scenarios, like Donald Trump and Kamala Harris on a plane flying toward Twin Towers, or Barack Obama holding a knife to Joe Biden's throat. These kinds of images raise serious ethical concerns, especially because they involve real people and could easily be used to spread misinformation or create harmful deepfakes. This loose approach to content moderation is very different from how platforms like OpenAI handle things. OpenAI's models, for example, will flat out refuse to generate images that involve real people, violent situations, or content that could be considered pornographic or misleading. Brock 2's more relaxed rules have led to concerns about how this technology might be misused, especially on social media where misinformation can spread quickly. Because of this, Brock 2's image generation capabilities are likely to come under the regulatory spotlight, especially in regions like Europe, where digital safety laws are more stringent. The European Union's Digital Safety Act, for example, governs how large platforms moderate content, and Grok 2's current approach could easily land it in hot water. Similarly, in the UK, the upcoming Online Safety Act is expected to cover AI-generated content, including deepfakes and other forms of digital manipulation. Elon Musk has always been a bit of a maverick when it comes to technology and business, and Grok 2 is no exception. Musk's vision for AI, as seen through Grok 2, emphasizes openness and a less restrictive approach to content creation. This fits in with his broader views on free speech, which have also influenced how X operates as a platform. However, this approach comes with its own set of risks. Beyond the ethical concerns, there are also significant legal challenges that XAI will need to navigate. The company has already faced regulatory scrutiny in Europe, where it had to partially suspend data processing after concerns were raised about how it was using data from X to train its AI models. The situation highlights the ongoing tension between Musk's vision of an open, less regulated AI landscape and the realities of operating within the constraints of international laws and regulations. Despite these challenges, Musk is pushing forward with his plans for Grok 2. The model is set to be released to developers later this month through a new enterprise API. This will allow businesses and developers to integrate Grok 2's capabilities into their own applications. The API will also offer enhanced security features such as multi-factor authentication, and it's designed to provide low latency access across multiple regions. This could make Grok 2 an attractive option for enterprise users who need a powerful AI that can handle a wide range of tasks. What really makes Grok 2 stand out is its strong technical foundation. The model is built on a new tech stack that supports multi-region inference deployments, meaning it can deliver low latency responses no matter where the user is located. This is a big deal for enterprise applications where speed and reliability are critical. Grok 2 has also shown significant improvements in its ability to follow instructions and provide accurate factual information. One of the common issues with large language models is their tendency to hallucinate or generate false information. The development team behind Grok 2 has put a lot of effort into reducing these hallucinations, making the model more reliable for tasks that demand high levels of accuracy. Another area where Grok 2 excels is in handling complex sequences of reasoning. The model has been tested extensively with tasks that involve multiple steps or require the synthesis of information from different sources. This makes Grok 2 particularly useful for applications that involve decision making or problem solving in real time. All right, let me know in the comments what you think about Grok 2. Are you excited about the possibilities or do the potential risks have you concerned? Either way, it's clear that this is a major development in the world of AI and it's going to be interesting to see how it all unfolds. And as always, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future AI deep dives. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.